<laughs> yeah, who loves who more? Well, we lived there, together. We did. Oh, okay. We did. Right. Okay. Yeah. Really? Well, yeah, I unclogged her shower drain. But it happened. Right. I don't so, want Brian, I'll come up, call me next time you have a drain issue. When I read it and I met Lila, you know, that's the entire reason that we started the company, is to be able to make movies like this and to be able to empower people who deserve it and, you know, work with first-time directors. I am not a veteran. I am not a member of the U.S. Armed Forces. I'm not a service member. Um, but when I first encountered the original draft of this script, I was um, immediately disarmed by a feeling of recognition in encountering this character's inner life. I wanted to get in the ring with Jen uh, for a long time. I never thought that it would actually manifest itself, thanks to the both of you for making that happen. Uh, but yeah, and um, the story in and of itself was something incredibly captivating, something that I really wanted to dive into. It terrified me, so that's how I knew that I had to do it. I was terrified. I loved the melody of it. I, I, I loved, um, I identified with, with so many things, not in a literal sense. And then when I met Lila, I thought that she was the most brilliant, and she is the most brilliant person I've ever met. It, it wasn't, I didn't read it intending for it to be Excellent Cadaver's first movie, but that that was why we made Excellent Cadaver, was for exactly an opportunity like this. We have different tastes in film, but we, we have the same values, and we just have a certain thing that works professionally, which is great for our friendship. <laughs> we can disagree, we can, you know, um, but we, mm. I, I really trust her, I really trust her instincts, I trust her taste. I mean, Justine and I have been doing it for a really for a long, long time. time. Yeah. See, they finish each other's sentences. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And sandwiches. Yeah. Yep. Um, True. <laughs> Were you in school at the same time? Yeah. Yeah. She I was in undergrad. Wow. And, and I was in grad school. school. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we've taken trips up to Cape Cod together. What? Mm -hmm. We've we've hit pigeons on the <laughs> no. highway together by accident. Oh, <laughs> like, God. It was terrible. But like she, yeah. I don't know. Y'all are just very familiar to me. It's very rare in this business period when you meet people that are just incredibly genuine and incredibly kind and giving. And it was very instantaneous. Well, with... for a bird killer, that must have. It was not. <laughs> let me explain. Cape yeah. Cod has a lot of birds, yes. and they will fly into your windshield yes. whether you like it or not. <laughs> and like it was just like. But at least I had Lila. I love that this movie is surrounded by water. You know, like there's a big element of the water aspect. I always call it the baptism of uh, our characters in this story. But all of that is because of how deeply enriched New, New Orleans is by its own personal magic. There's something about the resiliency of, of, of New Orleans, like how it is literally a, a, a city where the natives there are natives and they will not leave no matter how much has been done to it, no matter how, like the foundation and the roots, like literally to talk about roots, New Orleans is the city that has that. It, it doesn't feel like it's America. That's it true. is so yeah. um, uh, unique and it's just like so singular. Mm -hmm. And visually it's like overwhelming. I mean, we, where can you shoot it that doesn't have something to offer. I went to her house. Uh, we sat in her garden, the three of us. Mm -hmm. We sat in this garden. It was a full moon. It was a full moon. I was, um, I was, it was a full moon. I, it was a full moon. Like, because I was like, this is some witch. Shit. Let's yeah. do it. Like, I was yeah. like, let's get our witchcraft on. And we just <laughs> sat there. Tarot cards with you. Yeah, I brought my tarot and everything. We, I mean, at this point, yeah. it was like the, 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 the depths of 2020. Yeah. This was like kind of the first human, human interaction yeah. I had oh, had. Yeah. Yeah. And it was with them. And we sat at this table and just talked about the journey of what we thought this story would be. Mm -hmm. uh, and I and I have to say that this is something what's so great about this production is that the collaboration that happened amongst this 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 movie is unlike anything I've ever experienced. Mm -hmm.